Hey guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Outpost Zero. So, my progress in my world kind of got reset. There was a bunch of things that switched over because the beta is now live, and I decided that I would restart just because it was a little bit, um, I was a little bit more familiar with the game. I'm pretty much at the place that I was at before. I've got a little base of operations set up here. It's a little bit more organized than the last one. Uh, I have a few generators going right here to keep everything powered correctly, a map beacon, and even a bed. Uh, which I think this is used to save your uh, respawn point, but we need to go get some energy. I can recharge here. This does take base resources, which is not that bad, but you can see that, I mean, it's it's pretty fast, but it gets a lot, lot faster around one of those um, energy nodes, and I saved most of my resources here uh, in all of the chests just to make sure that if I die, things are okay, but I didn't craft the guns yet, and I did craft a drone, but it actually died. Um, it got attacked by some pups that were around here and stuff. But I'm using the sword right now. And the sword seems very, very effective. Come back over here, sucker. For these guys, it seems very effective. I would imagine that it is a lot more difficult to um, to fight the bigger things like this. Uh, but I have a, a full suit of armor, pretty much. A lot of the, uh, the stalker stuff, actually. Because I just did a little bit of... Um, of killing basic animals around and I ended up getting up a little bit of hide and stuff. So today what I'd like to do is advance a little bit more into the tech tree. I guess I'm going to put together a few little things um, that'll allow me to possibly get some higher end equipment online and stuff. Uh oh, here's a pup. Yeah, Alright, so I apologize. It is a little framey guys, but um, the game is just... It's pretty unoptimized at this point, but like I said, it's really, really early access. So, look how much faster this is. Much, much, much faster. And because of all of my equipment, I actually have quite a few um, more uh, points in my shield and my energy and stuff like that than normal. I do need to make a few more things, but... Okay, so that was all of the energy that I can harvest out of that rock. There is another one around here, but that's probably enough for now. Uh, let's get back to the base and see what we can do. So, there was a point yesterday to where I was like, huh, should I make this or should I make that? And I think I just need to make a little bit of everything that's at least on the basic crafting and stuff. We need to get a hole of a processor that we can get bigger resources from so that we can make other more AI cores. And I think I need to, excuse me, I think I need to get to where I can, um, I can defend my base and there's some turrets and stuff that we can make or turrets, I should say. So let's take a look at what we can do here. As far as base defense, there's small turrets. Uh, they have power consumption, but I don't know if they actually use ammo. Uh, we need copper, iron, circuit boards, and robotic assemblies. So let's see what we have here. I know some of the stuff that I spawned in was, okay, this is robotic assembly. This is circuit boards. Okay, I shouldn't need any of those. We'll need iron and copper. Uh, that's not it. Uh, here is our iron, and here is some copper. Uh, okay, so we should be good to go with that. Let's go upstairs and see if we could put a couple of turrets around. Uh, let's see here. Small turret. I wonder if they have to be on level with anything. I don't think so. But, hmm. Also, oh, I just destroyed, dang it, Bobby. Um, well, that sucks. I just destroyed it by accident because I used the wrong tool on it. By the way, I still have the tutorial going here. Why? Well, as soon as you let the tutorial finish, you start getting invaded by pirates. So I wanted to get a little bit further along into everything and see what we got. Uh, let's go back to the building menu here and see what we got. Okay, so it looks like, let's do it right here. Okay, let's make sure I have the welding tool and not the hand drill going. Uh, actually, there's a pup that just spawned on top of my base. I don't know if this is supposed to happen, but it does. 
It does. They spawn, if you don't have a ceiling, they'll actually spawn in your base, uh, which kind of sucks. Okay, let's do the welder. All right, inventory does. Okay, it comes with ammo. 762 bullets, I should have known. Uh, so we're gonna... What? So it does shoot. Is it out of ammo already? No? <laughs> How weird, man. So I guess these are... This is gonna be kind of weird. Like it shot, but it didn't, it didn't really finish it off. It used quite a few bullets too. There, it's shooting it. It's shooting the heck out of it. So, as far as it do- That crab went in my bay! Hey! Hey, man! What the heck, dude? <laughs> what the heck? I don't even know what to make of this. There sure is a lot of footsteps around, too. Okay, well, this might save me from pirates. Who knows? Uh, anyway. Let's get down here and take care of the riffraff really quick, manually. So I did get a turret online, so I suppose that's an accomplishment. It's some some type of accomplishment, at least. Let's get the bone resource, and I don't know what I'm going to need all of these resources for, but... Uh, okay, that's that. Alright, so let's go back in and see what else we can craft here. And they just keep on spawning, man. They just keep a spawning. Yep, look. He's right there. The turret is not doing anything at, as as well. He It used almost all its ammo. It did, in fact, kill the crab hatchling, though. But, man. Okay, so we're going to have to craft a lot of ammo here. Let's take a look at building the next step here, which is probably a materials processor and a machine shop. I uh, already have the robotic station and the equipment workbench. So a materials processor would be able to turn basic resources into advanced materials. We'll go ahead and put that here. And then we'll take a look at the, um, the machine shop. And we'll set that here. Okay, so... I have the equipment workbench here, and the robotic station is actually outside because of that deal that I had with the drone. I don't know if it still works like that, but it doesn't seem to be taking much damage or anything. I imagine that it might later when it gets attacked, but I can't make AI components right now for the um, for the drone, so I gotta do what I gotta do, I suppose. Anyway, we should be safe from the weather in here and all of this stuff. Uh, let's take a look at finishing these up here. Okay, that's online now. All right, that's online now. So, uh, we can make steel from here, which allows us to upgrade uh, some of the things. Like if we take a look at this right here, upgrade tier two. See how it says 10 steel cost? So we can make steel from here, that's pretty cool. Looks like we can make glass, copper wiring, chemicals, plastic, fuel, and carbon fiber. Okay, let's take a look at the machine shop. And shield booster, glider. Glider seems fun. Uh-oh. What's going on here? It's... This fire hatchling is just destroying my turret. Well. Is it... <laughs> is it, uh... Is it out of bullets now? And it took a lot of damage here. Man. Well, we could fix it. <laughs> wow, what a sight that is. Okay, we really need to get some bullets in that thing, I do suppose. Melee seems like the way to go right now, but that just might be what I'm thinking. Okay, so we can make a glider. Built-in glider wings to help you glide off surfaces. That seems pretty cool. I did craft some rocket boots, which they do increase the amount of jump height that I have, but... It doesn't exactly have an effect or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Energy packs, health packs I can make. We need silica for all of this stuff. Uh, and ammo, of course. So, let's do... 
let's just repeat some ammo. Will this process now that I'm not? No. You need to be in it for it to process. Let's see how much ammo that we get from it. We get 10762 ammo from that. We don't have any harvesters up or anything right now, so I do not see that this is really valuable at this point. I, don't, I just don't. I just don't see it as really valuable right now. Um, based on the what what the setup that we have is at least okay. So we did get some ammo. I think I'm just gonna put that in one of my chests here. Okay. Yeah, let's just put that in the chest for now. Now, how are we going to make these AI cores? Can we just craft these in one of these? No. What we're going to have to do is probably the materials processor. None of that is going to be it. Machine shop, energy pack, shield booster, glider, health pack, and ammunition. Hmm. Equipment workbench. So is this where you can craft the AI cores? I don't think so. Welder, extractor... No. It does not look like it. Okay. Dude. Stop! Making noise on my roof! You driving me crazy! Okay, the sword just kills him really, really quickly. Does not take any time. All right, so huh, I forget how to actually do this. Well, I never really learned how, did I? Rocket turrets, heavy turrets, holy crap, man. Machine shop, robotics, maybe at the robotics station. Maybe at the robotics station we can actually craft it. Hmm. Uh, remote camera, self-destruct, AI cores, that's what we need. We need silica and uranium, which we have not gotten yet. Um, so silica we can get plenty of. Uranium, I know that there's some towards the middle of the map, so we might just have to go and check that out. Um, well, we could go on a little adventure. We might as well, right? Let's just make sure that the door is closed here. And I'm thinking, I, I mean, I wanted to, hmm, we might just should put some walls around where that stairway is. I'm thinking we should do that first. Okay. Let's put some walls up around here. Uh, let's see here. B. Walls. Uh, we'll do one right here. Right here, right here. We'll have to do a door right here. So, if I could get the door menu up, here we go. Force field door. There we go, and we'll need a few ceilings now. ceilings and one more okay now I feel like I have some fully functional stuff going on this is gonna take a little bit more power but it still should not be bad again sorry it's so framey the effects seem to be pretty crazy when you start doing that uh, let's see if I can lower those in options graphics um, Effects quality is already low. Hmm. I have been playing around with this VXGI. I'm not really sure what it means, but to see if I could get any performance improvement. If I see something specific, I'll try it. It seems like it worked better in high, to tell you the truth. Options, graphics. Sorry about this, guys. Let's try that and high. Yeah, that seems a little bit more responsive, actually. Weird. Okay. I'm not a real graphics guy. A lot of those terms don't really mean a whole lot to me, guys. So, uh, all right. We should be good to go, at least, uh, I think. All right. We're going to need to head 
let's see which way we should head. We're gonna have to head southwest. There we go. So across the, over the river and through the woods towards Grandma's house, you know. Uh, also, do I have any room for it? Yes, I do. I'll pick up a couple of materials as I go. This, I think, is silver, which I don't have any yet. Crabs, pups, all kind of stuff. Okay. Good lord. We're getting invaded on. Spiders, hatchlings, bruh. Here I am just minding my own business. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. Anything to loot on this thing? A little bit of stuff. Okay. Let's get the silver. This mines it pretty fast. Again, I'm using those tools that I made last episode. Or the first episode, actually, the hand drill and stuff. I'm going to set up some harvesters and things, too, but... Right now, there's a few nodes around the house of things that I know, so I just go back and forth to them, you know. I don't think we need any more carbon right now. Silica, which is the little piles of dirt, and uranium is going to be, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be some radioactive green stuff. I think I've passed by it. That is not uranium. That, I think, is sulfur. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's sulfur. We don't need any of that right now. I'm sure we will sooner or later, but... I'm not specifically focused on getting anything, just filling up my inventory right now, because I do have limited capacity. While we're out, we should also stop by this stone, this energy stone or whatever have you. Oh, this is new. Hardened plastic. Oh, that's a, um, that's a material that you can make. I already have so many bones and so much chitin and stuff. I think I'm just going to... Dump the chitin, grab the bone, keep a couple inventory slots on me. Okay, there's copper. I think that's copper. Yes, it is. I could stand a little bit of this as well. I think we're going to have to fight in just a second again. It's mayhem out here. And this is not even the hard stuff, man. This is not even the hard stuff. It gets a lot crazier. Okay. Let's quickly stop by and refill. There we go. All right. Where are we right now? And I got a little bit further to go before we get to the promised land. All right. That looks pretty good. doesn't look like any trees give anything but carbon. I've harvested a few different kinds, and I've never gotten anything real different. Yet, at least. But... Alright. Oh, what is that? I just saw, like, some smoke coming up from the water. Is that just an effect? Or was that a resource? Oh, no, that's something. Oh. I see. I see. <laughs> that was just an effect. There's something over there. No, I'm not tripping. Is that a fish or something? Hold on. Huh. This looks neat. What are you? Is that what I was after? No. Huh. Oh, no. That is a resource. What is this? Petroleum? I can't get it with that. I can get it with my... You are piloting a general purpose I wonder if... Um... Uh, stop. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can... Not while I'm swimming, it doesn't look like it. Because I got my handy out. Probably have to set an extractor up on that thing. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, that's new. Petroleum. Uh, some more I I really hate to pass up this iron, but I am a little bit low on space. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna grab it anyway. It's just too good to pass up. 
Iron is like, I mean, it's base building, right? <laughs> Everything that you need when you go to build a base takes iron. Also, this is, I believe this is for bullets and everything else. Although it might just take copper for bullets. All right, beautiful. More petroleum, ah, okay, well we know where that's gonna be. I think this is sulfur. This is sodium, this is not sulfur. More iron, we're going to skip that for now, I believe we already got quite a bit to go back with. And I think we need to look for green, specifically uranium. This thing. Leave me alone, you little trotter. Dang it. Okay. Getting far away from home here, but I think it's going to do me just fine when I get to where I need to go. This is sodium again. Yes. Sulfur has a specific look, but I haven't looked at them enough yet to know what's what until I go up to it, you know? Which, that's why they have labels on them, I guess. I can recognize sulfur, which is good because it has that unique texture, but there's some more silver, I believe. Yep, I was right. Silver. Okay, we're getting into a new little area right here. This is probably... This is silica. This is silica. Okay, I do have a spade on me, so I'll use that. It gets silica three and four at a time, which is pretty darn good. It still takes a little while to get through the resource node, but all in all, it's not that bad. It's a lot better than using that multi-tool that you start with, or the handy, whatever they call it. Oh, stop with the welcome to Gaia. It's aggravating, but at least it's better than the whole world going crazy on me. There we go. So yeah, if you're looking to make progress in your game and get ready for the pirates before they start coming, this is what you gotta do, guys. <laughs> Just let the tutorial run. Do what you know. Don't cancel the tutorial either because it'll start immediately. All right, I see... Incoming sandstorm. No, no problem. I could deal with a sandstorm, I do think. It's gonna get really yellow. Really yellow. Oh, here we go. Okay. I think I'm going to need my mining tool for that. Okay. I hope I don't take too much damage from this stuff. Mining hand drill. Yeah. I'm not taking any damage from it. I thought it would be radioactive and hurt me. Oh, baby. Uranium, here we come. This is quite nice. Quite a bit of it, too. From the way that the nodes look. Okay, is this an actual node, too? Yes. I wonder if you could just put harvesters on these or, um, or mining rigs, too. You know, I might have enough stuff to kind of set that up right here, right now. Let's go to this third one over here and see what I can do. So much for rocket boots, huh? I can't even get up that little old hill. Okay, Magonite? That looks interesting, too. Okay, so how about this? How about we set up... Can we set up... Uh, yeah, we can. Miners, okay. I could set up a miner right here. I could set up a miner right... Oh, no resource. I wonder if this is going to take a harvester. No, it definitely says mine. Hold on. Harvester. Oh, yeah. The harvester will go on top. Uh-oh. Dang it, Bobby. That sucked. Um, harvester. Welcome to Gaia, your new home. Okay. Okay, so I got a harvester and a miner out. Now I'm going to need to be able to get, well, to get these things powered for sure. So we'll probably just need a... Do we have to set up... Yeah, we have to set up a foundation for this. So foundation... And... 
Okay, let's weld all of this now. Get all of this up and running. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, now, we'll put down steam furnace. This takes how much watts? This takes two kilowatts. This takes two kilowatts. Good, because this produces four. Beautiful. Okay, and we'll put a bunch of carbon in here. Do I have my carbon on me? Yeah, I have a little bit. I could get some more though. Okay, they're both working now. Power consumed, perfect. It's processing. This is processing. It takes a long time to get that magnite apparently, but that's okay. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest a little bit of carbon here. Dead tree. This will be enough to keep it running for a little while. It's exotic trees. Also, solar power might work good for this too because it's like off-site. But I haven't really dug into solar power yet. I know they don't produce as much resources. You know, like they don't give you as much power. But we might be able to upgrade them and stuff when we start getting into steel and making them very worthwhile. Right now, we just kind of want to fill this up so it works while we're not around. That way, when we do come out here for stuff like uranium, we've already got, like, some stuff to pick up, you know. Okay. So. I have no idea about travel in this game or anything like that, either. All right. Okay, beautiful, man. It's full. It is full. Uh, there is more uranium right here, in fact. But I think... I'm just gonna grab this. Are we gonna have to fight now? <laughs> I, I hear those footsteps. It's really hard to, to tell where they're at and how aggressive they're gonna be, you know? Okay, I think that's about all we got for this. How much inventory space do I have on me? None. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess it's time to head back. Uranium depleted, okay, got that. And I should probably place a map marker here too because I will forget where it's at. Let's see, map marker, map beacon. I'm just going to set it back here. There we go. We got another map beacon. Okay. So now we know where this thing is going to be. We don't have to weld that, do we? No. We don't. Good. So we set up the map beacon. That's going to show where we're at or where it's at all the time. That means we can head back and, um, and get some more stuff done. But I think that was a pretty good resource excursion. Go and get uranium. Next time we come back, guys, we'll try to put some stuff together with it get a little bit more advanced in the tech tree so i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did give me some dap on that like button to show you support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos thanks so much for watching as always this is Zuljan signing off and we'll see you next time